from Tucson Foothills Properties. I'm in Rancho Vistoso at 623 Bridal Veil. Vale. This is closer to the intersection of Rancho Vistoso Boulevard and Tangerine than uh, many of the houses, so this is at the south end. Very convenient. It's on a very short street. I'll do a pan. There's the mountains. We'll continue to pan. And here we are in front of the property. I'll walk up a little more centered to the property. As you can see, it is a rather large home with two stories. It has a three-car garage, two cars in one side, one in the third. The garage floor is even finished. The walkway up is finished. It's an absolutely gorgeous home. It is a great family home. And I say that advisedly because I'm not trying to say that somebody that doesn't have a huge family couldn't live here, but it is ideal for a, a large, large family. Um, you can see that the entry is gated, and you can see the wood fl plank floors here, except that this is porcelain or ceramic tile, so this is not actually wood. It's very deceiving, but it is extremely good looking. And the way it's laid makes the house look even bigger than it is, and it is big. So we're entering into the living room. You can see the arch to the kitchen family room. We'll take a look here. You can see that this is very high ceilings in this part of the house. Here's the breakfast, I'm sorry, here's the dining area, although the owner had a pool table here. Here's the living room. So we have a living room, dining room, family room, however you prefer to use it. There's the kitchen, breakfast nook, family room, fireplace, and we're going to go there in a second. <clears throat> but we're going to turn right, and here's the laundry, and you can see good duet, front-loading washer and dryer here with counter space over the top for easy folding. This is the garage. It's a huge, huge garage. And as I said, the floor has even been finished. It looks like an epoxy, but I'm not an expert on garage floors, so I can't swear to that. Those storage cabinets store the paint and supplies for the house. You can see that both garage doors have openers. Lots of light. There's this hanging space for storage. The furnace is right there. The hot water tank is there. It's wrapped for efficiency. Just extremely, extremely well maintained. Okay, we'll go back in through the laundry room. Take another look at it. Another quick look at the living room, dining room area. Now we're in the kitchen family room area. And I'll give a pan to the whole area. And then we'll walk out and sort of turn so you can see the kitchen area. Granite countertops. Breakfast nook. Pantries right there. Gas stove with five burners, it looks like. Microwave above it. Stainless steel refrigerator, three door. Ice and water through the door. Freezer on the bottom. If you haven't had one of those, you'll love it. We have one at home and we absolutely love it. Now, while we're here, we'll go and look at the pool area, the backyard. We have gated, of course. Large yard, patio, um, tiled, flagstone, cool deck on the pool. As you can see, it's all green over there. Built up and finished off and full of plants. Fountain. There's the pool equipment. A little storage box. Now the pool itself is not heated. 
and so I want you to know that but it's usable much of the year just based on the Sun and based on your swimming patterns okay we're back in again you can look and see the ceiling height in the fireplace also want you to note if you have small kids that the owners put a safety catch of safety closure an old, a door alarm and the wrought iron locking door shelving the uh, powder room here the light goes on and off automatically as you it's got a motion sensor so hopefully as I put my hand there it does granite nice sinks contemporary styled John Hall closet, guest closet, storage closet. This is the master suite. It is down. Mom and dad can live down. Kids up. Very subtle color. It's a soft pale green. Oh, I thought the lights were on in there. We'll get them on as we walk through. And they'll come on and you'll be able to see them. We have a garden tub, a shower with a dispenser. This is the master closet. Mirror there so you don't have to walk out and look in the mirror here. Lots of build-ins. Hooks. Take a look at the large vanity with a seating area they left the bench for you the master commode here's the smaller walk-in closet I guess that one was hers and this one is his uh, the hampers are left there for you some slack hangers are there and I should say so that everybody looking at this understands this is the owner's primary residence they're out on assignment for a while, and so they're renting it. It's ha we've done this for them before. It's a wonderful home. Uh, he likes to do pull-ups, so he left you his pull-up bar. Now we'll go up the steps. And I'm holding on here, so I'm not holding on as I go up. Okay, now we're at the top of the steps, and you can see that the tile is up here. That means that your floor in the hallway will stay cleaner. This is a loft with a ceiling fan. It's a large loft. I would guess it could have been a bedroom if somebody had really wanted it, but it's absolutely wonderful for a home office or kids' playroom. The folks who lived here had their workout equipment here. Treadmill and some weights equipment and Nordic type skier, that sort of stuff. The decor walls are in a soft pale yellow. It is the owner's choice, but they're quite, quite nice. This is the guest bedroom. That's how they used it, it could be whatever. Ceiling fan, paddle style fan. Now these walls are pink. The owners have a little girl. And so this was her sleeping room. It has been painted pink. Paddle fan, I don't know if you saw it, but it's there. The bathroom light went out again because of the motion sensor. This one is also pink. This was the little girl's playroom. That is not to say if there were boys coming, we couldn't talk about colors. We wouldn't want a boy to have to live with pink, although pink shirts are one of my favorites. I don't think a little boy would understand that. So there we have the hall bath, the guest room, the loft, and then a look down at the dining room or the dining area. The kitchen, it's wonderful, open, 
would be great for entertaining, great for mom or dad, whoever cooked, to be part of the family as the cooking was done, if the family was watching TV or sitting around the fireplace. Back at the master bedroom, the pool area to the rear, and I will turn and look at the living room for the third time, the laundry room for the third time, and we'll walk through the door out on to Bridal Vale and turn around and let you see the house again. Six twenty three Bridal Vale. Oro Valley in Rancho Vistoso.